Hi, so this video is for my course project in Math 6200 Data Analysis. Direction. Make a video presentation and solve the given problem below. So these are the questions given and we also have here a table with three columns which is sex, sleep quality, and job performance with 30 rows. And we also have here the sleep quality scoring guide and the job performance scoring guide as well. So let's go with the first question. Is there a significant relationship between insomnia and job performance of the respondents? So I made a chart here earlier and um, I labeled the sleep quality and the job performance. So this blue here represents the job performance and the um, orange here represents the sleep quality of each females and males here. So my answer for the first question is no. There is no significant relationship between insomnia and job performance of the respondents. Why? Because um, if we base here on the chart that I made, um, the first two females is having the same number. So they have the same 24 job performance. But if we check on their sleeping quality or their sleep quality number, the first female has or got 60 and the second one got 80. So um, their sleep quality and job performance are not acting on the same behavior. So therefore, there is no significant relationship. Next question. Is there a significant difference in the level of sleep quality when they are grouped according to sex? So if we look at the table given, we have here 18 females and only 12 males. So what I did is I pick or I took the first um, 12 females here so that the head count of female and um, the male will be the same. So that I can compare them and this is it. Um, 12 female and 12 males and I can compare the total of each number. So this is the sleep quality scoring guide and my answer for the second question for me it's yes, there is a significant difference in level of sleep quality when they are grouped according to sex because um, if we base here most of the females, 8 out of 12 females, um, got the clinical insomnia or severe. While only 1 out of 12 males got the clinical insomnia severe. So therefore, yes, there is a significant difference. And I think most of females has is having high risk of clinical insomnia compared to males. Next question. Is there a significant difference in the level of job performance when they are grouped according to sex? So my answer for that one is yes also because yes also. And um, because if we base here, 12 out of 12 males got or exceed the expectation. But 3 out of 12 female um, only meet the expectation. So therefore, there, yes, there is a significant difference between male and female when it comes to job performance. And I think most of or males got high risk of um, exceeding the expectation when it comes to job performance.